One of my biggest regrets from this series, which, like, I don't know why I would call it that. Well, yeah, no, it, it's something that I regret that they didn't do, was including Leonardo da Vinci in Revelations. Yeah, he should have been. Because, like, he's a through line in these games, and one of Ezio's only friends, who's, like, actually a friend. A guy. Yeah. You know, it just kind of disappointed me that they decided, like, well, let's just not do it. It's like, I understand that it's in um, Constantinople or whatever, but, like, couldn't you have just had him travel to Constantinople to do something, and then he's in the game and he helps well, I don't know. Was Leonardo da Vinci in Constanti Constantinople in history? I don't know, and I don't care. Like, there's... So you're in a bend to history to There's get your stuff will? that they change? No. They act like there's nothing they change. Like, we couldn't do that. He wasn't there at the time. Yeah, okay. What if you just had him there for a week? Is it, like, really this huge deal? Yeah, I know. Like, no, can't be. That's a dude. Ugh. I know, I've never understood that myself. I've always thought that that was kind of silly, because this one and two do you want to set do up... One? Sure. Use a smoke bomb to stun the overseer. They set up the relationship between the two of them as if it's, like, some big thing. And then it gets to Revelation, and it's like, where's Leonardo? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I just found that too bad. I mean... There are people you meet in Revelation that I think are are interesting. Like, don't you meet Ezio's like wife? You have to, yeah, you have to do a smoke bomb. So maybe jump out and use the smoke bomb. Use a smoke bomb to stun him. Okay. I think you do. Yeah. And then, um, then he ends up getting married by the time of. Um... <laughs> okay. There we go. I feel like we have time for one more if they're that quick. Yeah. Um. I thought that was a Leonardo mission. That was. It was, but we. we... Did we do anything with his machine? No. Okay. Alright. Well, now this is the next one, so... Okay. Um, I was just gonna say that map retrieved from... Oh, oh! Oh, so that's what we had to do. Okay. Um... See that tricky dick move there? Yeah, nice job, dick. Dick Cummington. <laughs> I don't know, I was just gonna say, though, that, like, it is an important, um relationship, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And so is the one with Claudia. Is Claudia really in Revelation, though? Because I don't remember her being in it much if she is. I don't I don't think she is at all. I don't know. I don't remember. I played the game once, and it was years ago. I love that game, but yeah, it's been a while for me, too. Like, that's why I'm so excited to replay it. Valnerina. A bomber? Wait, are we... Are we... Are we fighting the Unabomber? No, we're fighting the eunuch bomber. Okay. This is the guy who cut his dick off. Do not get shot while using the bomber. Okay. He's redesigned his flying machine with a light cannon, creating a deadly aerial weapon. You know, I'm just saying that I get he was under duress and had to design something for them, but you'd think he could make these things a little less powerful. I know. Like, I he was like, oh no, I'm going to be killed. I guess I'll design a B-52 bomber. <laughs> 500 years before they should exist. <laughs> well, I don't know. Or it's like, well, uh, I'm under duress. I could improve their gun, or I could make a nuclear weapon. How about that? Yeah, like, like could, I had to, I had to. Couldn't you settle down a little with, like, the inventions? Like, I get you have to give them something, and it has to be usable. Right. But does it have to be this usable? Yeah. Like, yeah, he was does. like, well, if I'm going to invent something, even if it's for terrorists and, and uh, totalitarians, I might as well not do half measures on it. Like, I want these things to be good inventions. Right. They have my name on them. <laughs> He's like, it's got to pass quality control. I feel like this is like Oppenheimer during like the creation of like, <laughs> oh, the nuclear no. bomb. Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> oh, the United States forced me into this. <laughs> I am become death. He like wrote that down early so he could like say it when it happened. <laughs> he was just like a little too into the atomic bomb creation. <laughs> they don't like because you can't actually read the whole thing for "I am become death" with like the the phrase like right. the, the intonations behind it. They fail to mention that his hand was in his pants while saying that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the thing here? I have to beat him up. Oh, nice. I love beating up defenseless architects. Me too. You want to have some Arca sex? <laughs> Land. No, I will not. Ow, he always had bucks them. He always takes out the nose. <laughs> in my house. You'll never smell pussy again or pasta. 
Well, do architects ever smell pussy? I don't think so. <laughs> you know what's really funny, by the way? Like, if you think about it, at this point in history, like, that's all he's got. Like, he's got his machines. Right. And being able to... You're talking to about the architect? Yeah, and yeah. being able to smell the newest pizza parlor. And he just took <laughs> half that guy's life away from him. <laughs> You'll never smell panne again. <laughs> No, please! No, that's I all I have. out of one nostril. Stop! Oh, uh huh? He takes out the other one. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> I just like how they use the same animation for all these, so he always had butts them out. I and know. Resist. The first guy didn't even really resist, did he? Wasn't even like, oh wait, I'll tell you. And he's like, and he's like, no, stop! <laughs> Etsy was a little too into the interrogations. <laughs> Etsy was like, where are the plans? Oh, the plans? Yeah, you mean the ones that are right over there? Boom! <laughs> Etsy, what he doesn't tell you is he also had Leo give him a surgery Leo? to install like a metal plate in his forehead, kind of like Hammerhead from right. Spider-Man, so that he could more effectively headbutt. <laughs> it was a big deal to him. Oh, oh get in the high place, get in the high place. Oh, okay, what? all what? right. Get in. I'm scared. Okay. Alright, gonna go take the Unabomber machine over here. Hey, did you notice that in Thor Love and Thunder... Spoiler alert. No, it's, it's not a spoiler at all. They show in the okay, trailers. Okay. In Thor Love and Thunder, um, Thor didn't even have his fake eye. It just looked like his normal eye. Yeah, I did notice that. What was up with that? Do you have any idea? Do you think they just forgot? I kind of think... Wait, didn't it... Because Rocket wasn't in gave, one of them. Yeah, Rocket gave him a fake eye. Yeah, but but look, the the eye looked like this. Remember? Right. But then he just has both eyes look real. Maybe maybe Rocket made him a new one. Oh, I guess I guess I don't know the explanation for it. I mean, he was hanging out with the Guardians, so I guess maybe it's possible that one of the Guardians just gave him a new eye. Like, like they a, just carry them around? Yeah, like a real-looking eye or something. I don't know. I mean, it, yeah, it is. I'm not I'm not trying to shit on this movie, by the way. You liked Love and Thunder, didn't you? I did really like it, yeah. I did, too. Oh, that was great. And, um, you know, we both liked that movie. I think a lot of people hate on it. Right. But, but it's popular to hate the MCU now. Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't understand that. Do you remember something I brought up about this, by the way, and I'm not even saying this is a bad movie, but isn't it a little inconsistent to be, like, slobbering Joss Whedon's dick, like, from back when he made Avengers 1? Right. But meanwhile, you have basically a thousand different 9-11 level heck? tragedies happening. Yeah. Like, I don't know why that Discover happened. the Shrine of Basilica di San Pietro? Oh, uh, okay. Um... Uh, so you know what I'm talking about. Basically, you have all these buildings coming down and people dying and stuff, right? Right. And the Avengers are like, ah, oh, shawarma, looks like a party. That's no party. <laughs> I'm always angry, bro. You know, like all this stuff. Right. <laughs> fine. Like, I don't think you or I ever hated that. No, I was fine with it. But in the context of what people complain about now, right. isn't that a dumb thing to be okay with that back then? But now be like... Well, Thor Love and Thunder just couldn't take itself seriously. I hate the part where Thor, like, gets in front of uh, Star-Lord, like, and it's supposed to be funny. Or I hate the part where, like, Korg, like, makes a joke. It's like, so that humor is bad to you, but, like, you're literally, like, balls deep. Or <laughs> Joss Whedon is, like, balls deep down your throat. Basketballs, yeah. Back basketballs deep down your throat in the past, like, <laughs> because he was writing, like... Avengers that were basically sociopaths and joking around as an entire city was annihilated. Right. And that was cool for you? Like, you were fine with that, but you're not fine with a joke here or there now. Right. Does that make sense to anybody? Because it... it <gasps> that was a sick <laughs> shot! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was sick! No, like... It doesn't make any no, sense. No, it, it makes me. no like, sense. It least, really doesn't. I'm just saying at least be consistent, you know? Right. I don't know. Right. Well, I mean, I think that... I th I mean, the, the answer is it's because the Avengers came out before and I think people are just sick and tired of the MCU. Then stop seeing them. Right. And that, and that is my... That's my uh, defense of it is like, okay, but you don't have to watch the movie. Right. I mean, you can still have problems with it if you do watch it, but I feel like a lot of people go into the movie ready to hate it. They do. You know, like, don't you think there's a difference between that? I think there's a difference between... I go see Thor 4 and I had problems with it versus 
I go see Thor 4 and I'm ready to dislike it because I'm tired of the MCU. Right. It's still your money to do with whatever you please, but, like, you're not going to like something if you go in wanting not to like it. Like, I, I just, when... Have you ever gone in wanting to hate something or, like, no. just straight up disliked it and you walked away like, it was amazing? I haven't. No. I mean, like, the best I've done is... I don't really know if I'm going to like this or not. I'm unsure on this. And then, like, I come out and I'm like, well, I was surprised. I really liked it. Yeah. Did you go to your right, maybe, though? Yeah, I want to kill this guy before he looks at me. Oh, that makes sense. But <laughs> Very sociopathic thing to do, but okay. No, you know, like, that's... Why don't you back... Oh, there you can get him there. Um, you know, that's kind of my issue with it is, like, I think that those are different things, is I am hopeful that it's good, but I don't know if I really will enjoy it. Versus, man, I can't wait to go watch this and hate on it. Right. I genuinely think since Endgame ended, that has been the attitude. Right. Well, and, and you know it's the attitude. is because every MCU movie that's come out since Endgame has gotten hate. Tons of it, too. Yeah. Not just a little. Right. I mean, now, I, I want to say this with like a grain of salt, because I definitely don't... I like Phase 4, but I definitely don't think Phase 4 is as good as the other ones. I think it's but, as good as one. I don't think it's as good as two right. or three. But I don't think that movies like uh, Shang-Chi... I mean, because what do we have? Shang-Chi, The Eternals, Black Widow... Um, Those sucked. What else am I missing? Well, they didn't suck. They just weren't great. Right. Uh, Shang-Chi, yeah, Eternals, Black Widow... Uh, Thor 4. Thor 4, Multiverse of Madness. Were those yeah. all Phase 4? I th yeah, they were all Phase 4. Okay, so I guess I should so, say, I think Black Widow kind of sucked. I don't think Shang-Chi sucked. I no, just thought I, it was fine. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess my point is, like, I could see if you say, oh, well, I didn't really like the Eternals and, you know, insert one other movie here. But are, are we really going to say that all of these movies were all garbage and they should all be, like, completely dumped on by everyone and everyone on Twitter is... You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. I don't know. I guess my thing is, like, at what it's point... It's not just the movies, it's the shows, too. Right. Like, it's both. Because, right. like, yeah, if you just look at the movie side, I could agree it's weaker. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you look at the shows, I think that, like, some of those shows are up there in movie quality of Phase yeah. 2 or 3. WandaVision's great, Falcon's great, Loki, I, Loki was I fine. I hear Loki's Loki, pretty good. Yeah. I Loki. haven't seen Loki right. yet. Hawkeye was great. Um, what other shows come out that I'm missing? Moon Knight? You haven't seen I haven't it. seen Moon Knight yet, but I actually want to. Um, but I haven't watched it yet. Um, man, there's one other one that I, I literally just came out. I'm missing What it. if? What if? Yeah, what if was good. I liked it. Oh, jeez. So, I don't know. I guess my point is, like, really all these movies have hate? I need to think of a different strategy or just stop being Do as... you want me to try it? I think I'm being too aggressive. I need to be more assassiny. That's okay. I mean, I, I think it's dumb that they limit it so you can't call in your people. Here. Yeah. Oh, No Way Home. No Way Home. That was an amazing. That was the other one. Which No Way Home came out, and I remember people in No Way Home, when that movie came out, I remember people were like, initially the reviews were like, "Oh, that was a great oh. movie. I loved it." And then after like a week, it was like, fine. Well, that's what people did. That was with a fine Endgame. movie. Yeah. Endgame though, it was like six months. Right. Everybody loved Endgame. Yeah. And now they're like, the Russo brothers suck. Endgame was bad. Civil War was bad. Right. I mean, like, they just have to hate everything. Well, yeah, and I guess my thing is, like, I want a movie where a movie comes out and everyone just sits there and, like, that was a great film. It'll never happen. It'll never happen because, for some reason, everyone needs to hate everything now. And I don't get it. See, my thing isn't even ever. I want everyone on board with the movie. I just want um, consistency. Right. You know, like, I want, like, if the movie's bad... They just say it's bad. Like, there fine. you go. And your opinion can change, but when the entire internet's opinion collectively changes after, like, a little bit, I don't take that seriously. No, I don't either. Like, I, I just can't. It's stupidity. Because, like, you know that it didn't really... Oh, no, 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 Oh, no, come on. Oh, no. I can't... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> like, right there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, great. no, 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 no. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I guess. I guess my big conclusion is my big conclusive thing is like. I'd like to look at your big conclusion. <laughs> that is two guys there. Oh no! Come on! My big conclusive opinion is just, I don't understand why we need to like hate on everything because. So this is not the MCU, but 
in DC, the Batman came out. I honestly think the Batman's like the best Batman movie ever created. Like, I just thought it was an amazing Batman movie. I would agree. Um, I am now starting to see people online, and I know this isn't everyone's opinion, but I'm starting to see some people online start to say things like, actually, now that we've had the movie out for a little bit now, the Batman was actually a mid-Batman movie. It wasn't as good as the Joker. Well, it's because like, like you what? have to hate stuff to be different. Like, I know. That's... It's like really like the Batman you think is a mid Batman movie. Like I don't know. Like I I can actually see if your favorite Batman movie is like The Dark Knight or something. I'm it's gonna... n it's not mine. No. But I can understand if it's yours. But to go around and be like, I think it's just a mid movie. It's like okay, that's just a wrong opinion. I mean, The Dark Knight is more of a mid movie than the Batman. It is, yeah. I mean, it's a good movie. It's a very good movie. Right. But I'm just saying, like, if you if you had to pick one, this one's better. I'd pick this the one's... dark. I'd pick the Batman over the Dark Knight every time. Yeah, I would too. I mean, the only thing I think the Dark Knight did better was just the Joker. And I think the soundtrack was equal. Yeah. Like I think the right. I, I think the soundtrack was equally good. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I guess my thing is, like, why do we have to feel like we need... Oh, wait, wait. Jump off of that over there. Yeah, maybe that's where you go. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 oh, no. Like, I guess for me, I just... Ah, oh, ignore them. They don't see you. There's two of them there. I know. I can't, I can't let go. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, I'm like a troubled kid. I just okay. can't put my gun down. <laughs> I guess for me, I don't really understand why it's cool... To hate things. Like, I don't get why we can't like things. I think it's boring. Yeah. I mean, here, here's something else here. Was Thor Love and Thunder better than Ragnarok? I didn't think so. I didn't either. Jill liked it more, but I, right. I didn't. I, I mean, thought, I thought it was close. Right. I thought Ragnarok was a better movie. Now, because I think Ragnarok is a better movie, does that mean that I have to think Love and Thunder is bad? No. No, but that's that's the opinion of everyone else online, is everyone thinks like, oh, well, uh, it's not as good as Ragnarok. Is it a bad movie then? And they'd be like, yeah. Like, well, no, it's not. Well, this is the same thing you see with um, with Assassin's Creed. Like, to talk to something, or talk about something we're on right now. Yeah. If you actually get the people to play them, other than Odyssey, which I think some people will always just dislike, which, right. fair enough, like, people just don't yeah. like Yeah, I mean, who saw who? you? Who? Who did I... Asami. <laughs> Asami? I really want to know. Should we just do this next time? We can, yeah. Yeah. Maybe just jump ahead. Sure. I don't know, because I'm mad and you want to yeah. leave. Nate got us here in a much better way, I guess. Until he manages to mess it up. Okay, well, we don't need to go there. So, let's just see what happens. So, now we're going to go in here. We're going to climb up this. Thank you. Is this an IGN walkthrough? <laughs> now we're going to go over here. Okay, cool. We're going to go on this ledge. Yeah, make sure to do we're that. We're going to jump to this one. Okay, jump to that one. Now we're going to jump to other one. this ledge. I think a lot of speedrunners make the mistake of jumping to the other one. Well, yeah, you don't want to do that. I, I mean... think a lot of speedrunners also make the mistake of not going outside. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just They're talking. one and the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... Oh, oh, wow. Geez. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, let's climb to the top here. I don't I don't actually remember this mission. I know how to do this. Do you know? I did, actually, but you did it right, so... Okay. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Okay. Now, make sure you go over here. Now, if you want to pre-order Assassin's Creed Rift, there's actually a special panel... That if you touch it in this tower, automatically charges your credit card pre oh, it for you. Cool. Yeah, isn't that convenient? Awesome. I love convenience. And it's also very convenient that the one panel you have to touch is the one panel you need to advance the mission. Yeah, it's very convenient. I love it. Okay. Nice, good job. Again, I think a lot of people <sighs> make the mistake of of going this way. But I, I, you know, oh, what I do show oh, no. wrong. What do I do here? Oh, wait, I think I have to do this. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice, good. That was like a Looney Tunes moment. <laughs> little joke there. Nice. Little gaff. I'm surprised I, that's I not think an you're, achievement. I think, okay. I nice. think the people on your channel don't know who Looney Tunes is. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> who doesn't know who the Looney Tunes are? Anyone who was born after the year 1980. I'm joking right now. Because well, I remember Looney Tunes back in action with ben, Brendan Fraser. 
That's true. That was for our generation. You can't get shot while on this. For the full sink. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. So don't get hit. Nice. Okay. Oh, blow All that right. up. Blow I'm that trying, up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I... Okay. All right. Just imagine that... The, oh, what are you doing? I'm getting, like, a big dive. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Well, how do you, like... How do you go faster? Oh, who not? oh, you have to go up and down, remember? Okay. Like, yeah, that's how you gain... Well, yes. Speed. Don't get shot! Don't get shot! Ah! Full synchronization failed. Did it? I get shot? Yeah, you got shot. What? Yep. Okay, I would like a redo because... But you don't get a redo. But, You'd have to redo the whole mission. But here's the thing. It took me a while to realize that... I wanted a redo. It took me a while to realize Jeez. that it's actually inverted. Oh, it is? Yeah, so I was I was pulling down, but then my guy was going up. But you don't get a redo. Like, press start. It still failed. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, they don't give a shit about you. <laughs> okay. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, they don't care at all. Hey, wait. Let's see the tactical camera. Oh! So tactical! Oh, man! What are you doing? Oh, cosplaying? Like, I don't know. The tactical camera is, like, throwing me off here. <laughs> I thought you were cosplaying the Japanese military at Pearl Harbor. <laughs> I was, actually. Oh, man. What's the tactical camera? I'll just kill myself. <laughs> also, what shit plane design? Oh, well, you won't have fuel to get back, though. <laughs> I think it was just, like, a one-time thing. Fucking stupid. Well, okay. It's <laughs> just <a> dumb <laughs> design. I don't know. I mean, are you the one that bombed Pearl Harbor? I didn't think so. Which time? When? Wait, when? When did this come out? Uh, 2011. Did this game come out? Okay. 2010. Then no, they wouldn't have known about it back then. Okay. <laughs> For comedic purposes, that was obviously a joke. What? <laughs> what are jokes? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Okay. Jokes are when I shake a dignitary's hand and then immediately forget I did. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea what I'm talking about or referencing, though. <laughs> okay, also, Leonardo could have stopped at the flying machine. Yeah, why didn't he need, like, a nuke button? <laughs> <laughs> like, like he he literally had designed the flying machine, and remember, they thought it was a demon. Yeah. In two. Yes. So then when asked, like, we need a, we need a, <laughs> we need some kind of thing here. We need you to make something. He could have just been like, oh, yeah, okay, well, if you want to weaponize this, you're just going to have to drop bombs from it or something yourself. Right. No, 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 no. He was like, well, I already made the flying machine. I can't just give them the flying machine. I need to make a bomber. <laughs> what is wrong with Leonardo da Vinci? What if Leonardo da Vinci is a, the international Jew and you're actually being anti-Semitic right now? Anti-Semitic? So we're cutting that out. What do you mean? Why? I'm cutting that out. Why? Because we out. are not anti-Semitic, Jill. Is that stuff for you? Yeah. Okay, good. Do you see me like kamikaze that thing? <laughs> I did. And then I got, I didn't get the full sync. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. We're not gonna get the full sync. Well, I meant the mission completely. Oh, ended. okay. Well, I just like straight up kamikaze it. I just like that no matter what we do, we can't get full sync because it makes you redo the entire mission. I know. I know. It's like not even. It's not even redo this section. It's why don't you start from the beginning? It kind of just makes me feel bad for you that you wasted your time getting full sync on everything. And now you're not even going to play the games on that console anymore. No. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy I got the trophy. Right. Like the platinum, but... Detection is now permitted? Was it not permitted before? No, it wasn't. Even though everything's permitted. Yeah, but well, yeah, what happened to that? Can I pull up at all? I'm not kidding you. I pulled down and then it wouldn't let me pull up. You ran out of fuel. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is a statement piece on fossil fuels and an over-reliance on them. So I just wanted you to know that. Awesome. I'm glad that we could uh, relate yeah. this to the modern world. Not Leonardo da Vinci making a bomber for no reason. I'm telling you, like, he could have stopped. It was already an airplane. Well, basically. with this bomber, Leonardo da Vinci could have stopped 9-11. Did you want to say Leonardo DiCaprio? No. 
He could have stopped 9 11, and he did not. So I don't really trust Leonardo da Vinci. That's after a good this. point. You know, by the way, I like that they made Leonardo da Vinci more important than everyone who came after him who actually designed things like the airplane. <laughs> What? Because I'm pretty sure Leonardo is... Like the uh, Wright Brothers? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine didn't work. In real life. Well, I don't know. I mean, isn't this real life? I'm pretty sure it was basically a falling machine. Right. It didn't really do... I think it was, I think it was more of a glider. Right. I mean, I'm not like an expert on it, but, but I... But it wasn't this. No, you no, no. You couldn't do this shit. No. Also, I really like... Yeah, we make sure that uh, we make sure that if you kill someone, they were in that relative area at the time, and like their source of death is similar to what it would have been. <laughs> we try and make sure we respect the history. Put a bomber in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> also, like, what do they even mean by that anymore? Did they just get rid of that mantra? Because like, <laughs> what about like we try and respect the history? Hey, you want to meet Odin? 